How's it going, everybody? It is Monday, August 5th, 2013, and I'm just chilling in my room, feeling pretty irate, because some of you may or may not know, the biogenesis scandal was completely opened up today, and the players are being named, are going to be suspended, and one of them is Alex Rodriguez. I'll go into that in a little bit, pissed as I am, I'll talk about that second. Uh, some of you may know, at this point, I review a lot of shit. And I have people coming up to me sometimes telling me that they enjoy watching them. So I think there's more people viewing than I think I thought originally. Uh, anyway, some of you may remember in February I reviewed the uh, chicken and waffle chips from Lay's. That was part of a trio of flavors they were coming out with. It was like a company contest. Uh, three people picked a flavor they wanted who were chosen out of a million people, I guess, whatever the number is. And... Uh, the three flavors that were chosen by these people were sriracha, which is a hot sauce, which I really enjoy. Which was not a bad chip, I think I actually did review that one. Chicken and waffles, which just tasted like maple syrup. Like Aunt Jemima pissed all over it. I don't want to go back into that review. I prefer not to recall those chips. The third one was uh, cheesy garlic bread. After all these months, people voted, and cheesy garlic bread was the winner of the contest for the best out of the three flavors, I guess. Million dollar winner. Now I'm going to review them. But first, let's take a look at this shitty bag before we open them up. In the back, we see the contest winner named Karen. She picked the flavor. Just look at Karen. Just by looking at her, I have to think she probably grew up eating garlic bread and sauce. Pour it out of a jar on Sunday night. We call that a Wonder Bread Whop. You pour your sauce out of a jar and you don't add anything to it. Not a real Italian. Karen Weber Hendham. Mendham. There's a message from her. What she's doing with her millions. I'll spend it on my family, college, braces for the kids, a tropical vacation, and a robot to clean and cook for us. Robot. And maybe some free sh shoe shopping for me. Oh my god. Fucking robot. I don't want to meet this woman. Anyway. Let's pop this open and try it. Cheesy, cheesy garlic bread flavored from Waze. Huh, of course, what do you expect? Anything different? The bag's only half full. Smell? I mean, they don't smell bad, but... <coughs> Jeez. They smell like sour cream and onion. I like the infamous chicken and waffles. They don't look any different than a regular Lay's potato chip. Let's see how they taste. Wow. Um, let me try another. Um, they're not bad. Uh, let me say that I'm not really a fan of garlic bread to begin with. Even when I'm eating my pasta, I'd rather just have a regular piece of bread and butter it. But out of the three I've tried, the chicken and waffles, the sriracha, and this one... The cheesy garlic bread. This tastes the most authentic. Definitely. I definitely feel like I'm getting a load of garlic bread in my mouth. More garlic bread in my mouth. When I'm eating these chips. I'm not going to be biased. I give these a high rating. They taste authentic. I'm not a big garlic bread fan like I said, but you got to be real, right? So we got 160 calories per ounce. You don't expect it to be good for you. Sodium, 135 milligrams. Just 6% your daily intake. Um, considering I pretty much downed a bag of uh, flaming Hot Munchies before. Almost a whole bag. I probably shouldn't be eating all these, so I think I'll just try one or two more and then put it away. But these aren't bad, so go out and get some. 
10% vitamin C. Where the hell does that come from? 2% iron. That's shit. Anyway. This A-Rod situation. Though some in my household disagree with me. Pathetic. He's a total fraud. And I'm so pissed about this whole thing. I like the 211 game suspension, whatever it is. Now he's going to appeal it. And he's probably going to play the whole rest of the season. Because, you know, appealing processes take a million years. He's got... The players' union so far up his ass supporting him, and he doesn't deserve it. He's lied to the media. He's lied to his fans. I can't take it anymore. He's a disgrace to the Yankees. He's a disgrace to baseball. He's a disgrace to all fans of any sport. I, it, I can't take it anymore. He's just a total asshole. Lied to Barbara Walters in 2007. Lied to his fans in 2009. Tried to cheat the investigation by hiding and, 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 and getting rid of evidence. To, ugh. I wish he'd be banned. I was naive enough to think it could possibly happen. He's never going to be banned. Unless he did this again, which I don't even think he's stupid enough to do. My guess, play the rest of the season, because that's how long the appeal process is going to take. He's allowed to play during the appeal process. And he'll get a shortened span from 211 down to 150. So he'll miss most of next year, which would still be cool. I don't want him to play this year, though. But he's a joke. The Yankees aren't good this year. He's just making it worse by dragging all the media into it. But, uh, that's really all I have to say. That's a long video. So, uh, go out and try a bag if you like garlic bread. I don't know how long they're going to be around. I don't think too long. But, uh, they're, they taste legit. So, go do it. And, uh, let's see. Um, 12 days until school. Can't wait to see you all. Peace.